session of the National Assembly was a song of allegiance on your mandate, We Shall Stand, which was used to usher in President Bola Ahmed Tinubu before he presented the budget. Well, let's take a listen before we come back for a discussion. So, distinguished colleagues and honorable members, let us at this point welcome the president, a man with track record, an alumnus of the National Assembly to present his budget estimates. Can we give him a resounding applause? Let's take some reactions. Well, uh, this is a person who wrote at the big wig. His tweet reads, National Assembly singing for Tinubu. We have witnessed rubber stamp Senate under Ahmed Lawan. But this God's will Akpavio Senate is a collection of hype men. He has moved from wearing Tinubu's insignia cap to on your mandate hyperlord, right on the floor of the Senate. Every well-meaning Nigerian must condemn this rendition of Tinubu's campaign tune in the National Assembly chamber, an evidence of outright totalitarianism. Dr. Abati. I agree with, uh, what do you call that person? Big, big week. Big week. Big oh, week. Is, that, is that a name? Yes. Okay. On but Twitter. In, but in yeah. any case, what you say makes Big week sense. Austin. His name is Austin. This is how it starts. Mm -hmm. Hero worship. Yes. Sir. This is how okay. parliaments in Africa turn their presidents into dictators. The National Assembly of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, if we check both chambers, both red and green, it's a collection of members from different political parties. Labour Party is there, PDP is there, uh, APUGA is there, you know, other political parties are there. So it's, it, it's a place for lawmaking, for good governance, an oversight assembly. This kind of open psychophancy is, uh, is primitive if I may use that word. On your mandate we stand is the slogan, is the song, you know, for the APC. Right. So the APC cannot hijack a, 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 a bipartisan uh, national assembly, you know, uh, uh, where there are other political parties representing the interests of Nigerians. And if you look at the result of the election, it's not every Nigerian that is standing on the mandate of uh, President Tinubu. When the president arrives at an occasion, the appropriate thing to play is the national anthem. Correct. And I hope that uh, these uh, lawmakers are not going to pursue the idiocy of uh, playing uh, APC song at uh, public events. The recognized song in Nigeria is the national anthem. If they want, and uh, uh, the presentation of the budget before the National Assembly is a national occasion, not an APC occasion. So that's, uh, you know, something uh, to be uh, really condemned. Now, what's the first leg of the story before this? We talked about the ministers. Uh, the, the ministers not traveling. Okay. The president asked the, uh, the National Assembly, the leadership of the National Assembly, to pass the bill uh, expeditiously. And I guess that is within the context of the plan by the government to keep to the old budget cycle of January to December, you know, so that... It's not as we used to have it in the past. You now have to run the old budget till, you know, almost half of the year. So I think that in itself makes sense. If the National Assembly is now saying, well, due to the harmonious relationship that we have, we will pass the budget uh, very quickly. But they are saying ministers should not travel, heads of uh, ministries and departments and agencies should not travel, because they will be required, of course, to come and defend some of the line items and explain uh, 
mm. and to prevent a situation whereby these lawmakers will write themselves into the appropriation uh, act yes, of uh, Nigeria. Pardon. So it's important that those uh, heads of MDAs also show up. However, if there is proper coordination, I say coordination, I'm not saying the uh, legislature should take directives from the executive. If there is proper coordination, if any minister has a compelling reason to travel, the National Assembly will have been informed and everything can be very smooth. But the more important point is that the National Assembly has an obligation to do due diligence, not to use that budget to fund luxury. Mm -hmm. we, Nigerians don't expect that they will start uh, importing luxury items, luxury uh, subheads into that uh, or constituency project for their own uh, uh, you know, uh, interest. But otherwise, the senior president made a number of points about the need to reduce the debt uh, burden, the need to prioritize education, the need for diversifying the economy, the need for Nigeria to stop over dependence on uh, crude oil, and his point about you know, how to unbundle some offices, particularly ministries and agencies, either to scrap some or join some, what he needed to say really is that the Tinubu government must summon the courage to implement the Onosaya report, which has been on the, on the table since, so that we can plug the wastages and leakages that Akpabio was talking about. So those are the more important points that he made. But we do not expect that this show of psychophancy <laughs> will continue and not that that psychophancy on your mandate, we stand. Yeah. They've already passed the budget before even looking at it. All right. Rufa, if you recall, I mean, I did take this story where, you know, Tinubu had this fake meeting and yeah. they played this actual tune. But I said it was because, you know, he had just, it was, uh, he had just uh, been announced or affirmed president of Nigeria. You know, he was in a group of his people and they had to play that tune. However, it's not the first time, Dr. Abati, you are saying that they shouldn't play it in public. If you recall, during the Niger crisis, I know that the president is the ECOWAS chair. They played the same song of allegiance there. <laughs> the allegiance will be to the constitution, I mean, not to an individual. Dr. Rufa is... Uh, I'm blowing hair yeah. this morning because... Go ahead. God help me. At first, shame on all our National Assembly members. I was seated there where another song of allegiance was played. Shame. And if we truly have a country, if we truly have a republic... By now, those in their constituency should be sending them letters to show how disgruntled they are, and if possible, recalling them. It is that bad. We are losing the country with psychophancy. But it's not only to know. It happened during Buhari's administration. Remember how people were wearing Buhari's insignia on their body? Now everybody's wearing his cap and all of that. What level of madness have we got into in this country? It's a whole new level of madness. What level of madness are we doing? At the hollow chamber? By playing that song, a partisan song, they desecrated the hollow chamber. And they must account for it. Let's go back history. Do you know what caused the first English civil war? The king tried to overreach himself in the parliament and the parliamentarians kicked against it. King Charles I. It led to the emergence of Oliver Cromwell. The Lord Protector of England. The Parliament is for the people. The people of Nigeria. Parlement. The meaning of the Parliament is Parlement. To speak on behalf of the people. Not to do political sentiment and hypocrisy. Or listen to songs of allegiance posed to a certain political party. And there were some other lawmakers there they couldn't talk. How would they be able to talk? Maybe we're telling Labour Party lawmakers. When they were part of those that collected the 160 million for cars. Will they have the nerve to speak? We're telling lawmakers from other parties to discountenance that they didn't do it. But how will they be able to talk? Oh, we are. forget Everyone's in a hurry, Oji. We forget that there are three co-equal arms of government in this country. The judiciary, the legislature, and the executive. President Tinubu is the head of one equal arm, the executive. The legislature has the head of his own arm. But we have a legislature that don't even know themselves. And they are cartoying to the executive. 
They are worse than copy and paste now. They are worse than robber. They are hype men, as big we call them. Hype men. So shame on all of them for not understanding that they are a co-equal arm of government in this country and they are singing an allegiance song mm -hmm. well, all right. to well the executive. Said. You can see, you can see where we, we started. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was important to highlight <laughs> it. We don't need a hype men at the National Assembly.